All right, so this is how you would earn additional five to 10K per month from your street tax program. Let me show you how. Um, I'm going to walk you through an account and I'm gonna share my screen because here's what you need to do. I don't care if you're in trial, if you're a full member, make sure you have crossed your T's dotted your eyes, make sure you're doing all the things that you need to do from the very moment that lead comes in. So that begins with updating all your information. So I'm starting in your dashboard in the settings section. So you know how all these little tabs work and what you should be doing inside of them. Number one, get into your user profile and update your information. Now, you don't need to put in a bio in there, but you do need to have a slogan because that's gonna be coming along inside your funnel, that's important. You do want to update your privacy policy URL too. That's going to be important if, as you're running um, lead ads, Facebook lead ads, and just you know your website information because that's going to be important. What else? Get an email signature, and we have an entire section on how to pull in your own email signature because this is automatically firing out with every email that goes out on the automation side. Pull that in, okay? That there's an entire section in your email signatures right here in your account settings. Pull in an email signature, trust me. It's the least you can do so that every email knows they're, they're actually working with a human being, okay? And not some AI. <clears throat> All right, uh, Facebook pages. So in your section of your settings, Facebook pages, update that area, go to your Facebook page, make sure that you have primary selected for the Facebook page that you're using. Also make sure that you are connected in green here. Um, so they're both green and lit up because that connect leads button needs to be hit so you can use lead ads. And that's going to be important for your buyer ads. It's going to be important for your listing ads. Um, also check your Facebook reviews. Okay. If you have Facebook reviews, we want to pull them in and we want those to be front and center. Um, and so usually when you see it loading like this, you have a bunch of reviews. And so in this case, pick a few that you, if you know you're going to be a listing agent, you're going to be a seller focus agent, pick some reviews that that particular seller lead would see inside your funnel. It'll make sense as I go through the funnel to show you. What else? I, hey, take notes on your leads. I'll still never know where you're at with them. I mean, look at this cool thing. This is, this is Jennifer's account and she takes notes and she also has these little groups she's created. So I just went into her closed. Look at all these closed leads, like what a rock star. Okay, what is she doing? She's taking appointments, all these are, are past dates. She kept in touch with them, right? She actually had little sections that she kept um, with their deal progress, okay? So take notes with these leads, put them into sections. It's pretty powerful. Um, okay, there's a lot of cool things. I'll, I'll keep on going here. So this is your funnels button. We'll talk about interpreting all these stats because now you'll know how to run ads properly when you start looking at the numbers next to these stats. So you get an idea of which ads you should be working with. And your code should be pointing along the way. Um, but trust me when I say, stay to the high click to contact ratio numbers, like 60% versus 20%. This is three times the amount of click producing contact. Of course, you're gonna wanna start here. So look for those numbers when you're running ads, okay? Trust me, I'll, I'll direct you to the best buyer, seller, and listing ads, but um, there's a couple funnels I would stick to, the seller property valuation conversion template, as well as um, the, if someone were to buy your home, this one, what's your home really worth funnel. Okay, good to know. Ads, we need to take track of if the ad is working or not, okay? Trust me when I say you can have an ad running for months. I've seen an ad run for more than a year. If your lifetime in your last seven days are lined up, well, how do you know that? Well, okay, let me move. I'm going to move back to this in a second. But so view your ad. Every, everybody should always view your ad because this ad, trust me, this ad can gain traction. And if you get social influence on it, if you get likes, if you get comments, share it, share it, share it. I mean, respond to the likes. Like I'm looking at this ad right here. There's a couple people. It's a brand new ad, but you know, I'm going to go send a PM to Martha. I'm gonna go send a PM to that person and say, hey, I'm gonna take a little snapshot of this ad. If you liked my ad, it's complimentary. I wanna actually get you home value. Is this a good place to send it to you? Begin there. Also share. Did you know if you share your ad, you can share it to your newsfeed? You can share it to groups that you're a part of? I've seen people double or quadruple their lead flow just by sharing it to their organic circles. You're not paying Facebook for that click, by the way, that's organic. Let me know, I'll help you through that. 
share your ads to the people that you already know on Facebook, share them to the groups, run a little message. So when you share this message, share it to say, Hey, everybody on my Facebook, I just wanted to say I'm, I'm offering a complimentary service where I actually come on over to your home and do a tour and give you a in-depth market analysis. I even bring over your favorite cup of coffee. Who's in? Point arrows down. Okay, trust me, do it. Take advantage of that amazing network of people you already know outside of the sponsored element you're paying Facebook for. Okay, um, so and, and with that being said, Everybody should always put themselves through that experience. So you need to be the lead, be the lead, be the lead. So you can remember, this is not about you. It's about their experience. And so as you go in and start inputting your own information, 133 Glenridge Avenue here, huh, I'm always eating my childhood one, right? Um, guess what? That auto populates, as we know, boom, locked and loaded in her dashboard as an address only. It becomes a lead the moment I put in that email. Okay, boom, automatic email shooting my way. You need to know what's that experience. Okay, and we need to work around that experience as well as, okay, age, update, renovation, sell date immediately, you know, new, new kitchen. Some people put it, some people don't. Some people put just curious, defense mechanism. We all know that, hopefully you do at this point. I've said it over and over again. People are not going to tell you. They don't know you. They don't like you yet. There's no trust established. They're not going to tell you what's really happening here. Okay. Just curious. Next. Hint, hint. Why is it that I told you to put in your Facebook review? There it is. Why is it that I told you to update your, your, your marketing settings, right? Your slogan tagline, because it's right there. There's your picture. Make sure it's you, not anybody else, right? Hopefully at this point, you know that we've been talking about registering your own domain, because if you're a trial, it won't matter so much right now. But when you become a full member, Apple iOS updates happening any minute now, if you don't have this registered, all your seller ads will go down. So Jennifer has it registered. And that's why Jennifer has Jennifer sells home here instead of street text. That's why if you go to her, um, you know, landing page, it's not, uh, you know, street text again, it's Jennifer sells homes. That's what you could have. None of your competitions are going to know you're using street text competitive advantage. Okay. And you're going to be rebranding yourself, email signatures, mailers, all that stuff is going to be awesome for that seller side. Okay. Um, this is something that I, I wanted people to see. This is a pipeline you can start building in street text. So pretty awesome, you know, especially when you move it to that close profile, it's like, Ooh, Judy, Cindy, right? That person, Rod, Michelle, Brad, Tracy, Jeff, look at all this money I'm making. $50,000, pretty awesome. Um, you know, all the talk to people, like I wanna know who I'm talking to. I can see all the people I'm talking to. I can see all the appointments I've made. This is called a pipeline. You can build one in the street text, okay? Um, okay, so lots of good stuff here. Conversations, hey, all my conversations in one place. This person enters a new water heater, new HVAC, wood floors throughout, ceramic tiles. Hey, what do you think of the home report sent a few days ago? When are you hoping to sell? Jennifer's really good at just having conversations. I'm actually looking for a company to buy a home for me. Well, hello, that's me. Take track of this. We need to actually reinvent this, reimagine this a little bit because a lot of you need to go in there and change it so it doesn't feel so AI-ish. And that's what we, we're gonna focus on because if you look at your automations, you can redesign and reimagine this entire thing. If you look at the way this is designed, you know, text message with a little emoji, I can show you how to do this. Look, an email that automatically sends out. So when it sends out, it entirely gives you the response of a human being, not a, oh, you know, that bait and switch feeling where that person clicks on it thinking they're getting an instant market value. And guess what? It's not. So address the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room is this. I thought I was getting instant market value. I'm a homeowner. I clicked on your ad. I thought it was instant. Why should I be talking to you when I could just Google my home and have Zillow, Truly, a Realtor, Redfin, Movado, what makes you any different? Tell me about you. What are you going to do? That's this experience is going to be so much better than what I could do myself. Hello. This is why we talk about this over and over again. You want to be that someone doing five or 10 K a month with street techs. You got to be this person. You don't want to be anybody, but this person. Okay. Your own person. You're the personality. You're the person that's winning the conversation. It is knowing friends and, you know, knowing friends, it's influencing pain, uh, friends and, and what's the word I'm looking for. Uh, you just have to develop a model of conversations, no like and trust model, winning friends and influencing people. That's what I was looking for. Brain fart. Um, okay, 
Be yourself. Be authentic. You're going to mess up just like I did from time to time. That's okay. That's okay to mess up. People dig that. They don't want it to be scripted. Okay. Authentic, genuine, face to face with your dog, your family, your babies. You know, just have fun. If you can have fun, they can see that. That translates. Look at Wendy. She's having fun. It's a 20 second video. I haven't even played on that video yet. And I can, I can tell I want to click on it because she's having fun. She's smiling. Do you know that body language is massive in communication? Did you know that I am seeing body language and then tonality is a second? And that's more than 90% of communication, maybe even higher towards 100%. That's why a lot of you are, are not doing well with street text on the conversion side because you're relying on HTML text. Here's how I look at it. If you think someone's going to click on an ad, and tell you to come on over without ever seeing you or experiencing you. It's like you went and door knocked someone's home and you left the letter on the ground and you, you knocked on the door and you ran as fast as you, can, you, you could to get out of there so no one would see you. It's called doorbell ditching. You probably all remember as little kids and you want that and you kind of hid behind the corner looking at the bush and saying, ooh, and they can open my letter. Did they just shut the door and close it on you like everybody, most people does. That's called like unsubscribe. That's called ghosting you. That's called not you know, feeling like you, they've been burned, like most people do, they're going to pick up that letter and read it. Some do, maybe one in a hundred, and then respond and you get a lucky conversation. But you should be there. And this is what this is doing. And not only should you just be, be there, you should be measuring it. You should be tracking every communication from the automation side, as well as the personal side. And the personal touch, what I'm doing here why I have tracking installed in my email is because I can see who's opening it. I can see who's watching it. I can see who's responding to it. I can see who's clicking on my links. I'm going to have a 90% or more personal email open because of the way I use it. I'm of course going to have my automations, but they are by, by, by far a byproduct of my personal touch. And I'm going to design my automations so that if my personal touch is dialed in, they can keep on going. So a lot of you need to rethink that. You need to shut off your automations or not shut them down, but like maybe delay them a little bit. Other than the first email, but even with my first email, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that email like just like Wendy right there. I'm gonna go put it in my snippet and I'm gonna do the snippets so that I can pull that same email in. Okay, and yeah. There's a lot of cool things I can teach you guys if you're open for it, but you got to make the time. And so let's just for fun, put anything in there. I'm going to redesign it. Okay. So, so that if I want that same email in there, I'm going to actually have it in my personal email too. So I can attach tracking to it. So I can make sure they got it because I'm not going to rely on automations to do it for me. I'm going to also send it out personally and ask them if they got it and I'm going to ask for feedback. So that's a big part of it. Sometimes we just need that yes or no, that binary yes or no. And then we can begin the conversation. Okay. So again, if if you're somebody who's trying to go for a personal relationship and you're connecting with them, then what is that? Well, that's that's big on just where do you want them to go? Do you want them to connect? Like if you look here, this intro is all about personal relationship. That's why she says meet me on Facebook, because she if you click on this link, where does it go? It takes you directly to her personal Facebook. What what are you seeing here? Same jacket. Same shirt, what's her personal Facebook? Same jacket, same shirt, right? Look at this brand, LV Sweet Homes. What do you see on the Facebook? LV Sweet Homes. Notice the consistency of her branding there. Hmm? Get it? Get it? Branding. You are the brand. Face-to-face -face communication. Where else can I get to know Wendy and like her more than actual her Facebook? I can get to say, wow, Wendy's cool. She's doing a lot of cool stuff with her Jeep, you know? She's out there doing some fun things. Like this is a person I could totally be my realtor. You know, if I'm looking around, I'm just, you know, I, I would totally, you know, of course you want these leads to do this to you. You want them to profile you. Well, shouldn't you be wanting them to do the same for you so they can see if you're somebody they would want to be working with? They got to like you, okay? Then they'll work with you. So where do you develop that model? We are in this day and age of the social influencer face-to-face. -face. They get to know you, get to like you, they get to trust you on Facebook. Guess what? You interrupted their Facebook newsfeed, their personal Facebook newsfeed. Shouldn't you be coming full circle and touching bases with them on Facebook? 
think about it, guys. All right, where else could you take them? You could take them to a calendar, just like here. You could take them to have a phone call, free complimentary walkthrough, a digital coffee. Possibilities are endless, okay? Anyways, you can meet me any time of the day as, well, Monday through Friday. I always have these options, as does my, my full calendar with Street Tech. So if you wanna become a, a high converter, you know, if you want to make the, the, the deals that are like one or more deals, if you want to become people, if you want to like look into see models like, um, you know, how to, how to get Jessica five listing appointments in one week, this is all available to you. How did Jessica get five listing appointments in one week? She asked for the appointment. She asked for two different times that were available in that person's calendar. She didn't give them options. She said, is Wednesday at six or Thursday at nine work for you? After she gave them something, I like to call it your rough draft analysis. Hey, you know, this is my rough draft. It's better than what you could do on, on Google. It's better what Zillow, Trulia, Realtor, Mbato, Redfin would do. This is local. This is based on what I know locally to your market. I pulled open my MLS, found similar square footage, bathroom, bedroom sizes, similar homes to yours in the, in your, the same radius of your neighborhood. This is what they sold by. But again, this is still rough draft only when I'm able to actually interpret based on what I can see on the outside of your home. But in order for me to give you a, a true market value, I would actually have to see the home. How does Wednesday at nine or Thursday at six work for you? See what you're doing? You're giving a little bit. You're addressing the elephant in the room, which is that Zillow, Trulia, Realtor, Redfin, Motto, Google. And you're just saying, here's what I'm going to do. Okay. Not only um, just people can Google it. You're addressing that. They've, they know that that's already out there. You're showing them what you do that's a little bit different. That, so this is even more reliable with even with your rough draft analysis. Jennifer likes to pull that within a $10,000 point range. And then you ask for the appointment. So lots of great courses between Jennifer, Janky. And then of course, like we have the, the insider group, right guys? <clears throat> the insider group is where it's all at. Um, so, okay, where am I at? I have them all over the place. Here's the insider group. What can you gleam into this insider group? You can gleam everything. You can actually search for everything. You can go to topics and find everything. All you got to do is search the magnifying glass for any topic that comes to mind. There's address only examples. There's scripts, strategies. I mean, I can't tell you if you're going to make this work, you got to come to the masterminds. You got to actually watch the masterminds and you got to look to the people that have done it well. This is not a fix to your business. This is not the next, this is not the next month. It's not even the next 90 days. This is for people that want to build their pipeline over the course of the next year and beyond. The most successful agents, the Donna Swansea's, the Jennifer Salters, the Janky Patels, you know, all these people that are doing double digit transactions. Those are the people that are learning how to use the program and they're hungry, they're humble, they're ready to learn, they're sharing, they come from contribution. Um, I got to tell you, like, your biggest investment outside of your marketing budget, outside of the street tech investment is your time. And you gotta be willing to put in the minutes, put in the hours, put in the days until you truly start figuring out and you'll never have arrived. You'll just always be humble enough to realize that there's always something you can learn. We always say like some of our most advanced learning sessions are from people that are brand new that come in with no perspective and they have this amazing idea in the mastermind. And we all go like, whoa, we didn't, how did we not think of this? And so that's the, that's the best place to be. So you want an extra five to 10 K you can have it, but are you willing to embrace this model is not of, you know, quick fix, instant results. Can you get them? Okay, of course you can. I get people that get appointments all the time in the trial. Does that happen every week? Absolutely not. So we need to learn how to create an experience, present ourselves as authentic, be genuine, try everything and anything to get that personal touch established so that person feels like we're not selling them but we're coming from contribution and it's you it's your personality so what are you going to do you need video you need facebook messenger you need um to just feel like when you pick up the phone it doesn't feel like you know that person wants to just hang up on you it's like hey thank you so much for clicking on my facebook ad i'm sure you thought this was an instant mark value and i apologize if that's the experience you thought you were going to have i promise you this experience I'm about to provide you is a million times better because it's custom to your home and it's complimentary. There's absolutely no obligation. It's free. It's my way of giving back. And in fact, I'll update this as often as you like. Hopefully that's a good place for you guys to start. If you have any questions, you know how to find me, message me. And uh, as always, have a great day. Talk soon.